this is the coolest device I think I've ever purchased. This right here is a Roxiva unit. Uh, they are not cheap. They're about $5,000 It's because it's a, a medical device. It's not a little play device. And it's actually for audio and visual entrainment. So uh, Tam and I were just using it. Uh, and we've been testing it for the past week. Uh, so how would you describe it? Um, it depends on what setting it's on. So it's supposed to simulate, um, that has a setting for DMT, which I've never done. So it can simulate like a DMT trip, um, an LSD trip. Uh, it kind of feels like a kaleidoscope on your face and it kind of puts you in another world. You have headphones on when you're doing it and it puts you in another world. You see like tracers, you see things, uh, you just see patterns, many, many patterns. So this one we just did was for anxiety. It has like, how many settings does it have? Maybe like, uh, there's probably 200 programs. Is there, on it. Is there 200? Okay. So it just kind of puts you in a new state of mind, sort of like meditation, but with light therapy and patterns. Um, and it kind of retoggles your mind and the chemicals in your mind and the neurons in your mind. So we haven't actually, we're not sure how safe it is yet. <laughs> so we're only doing six minutes, right? Everybody's just doing six minutes right now. We did it on our legal team this week as well. They really loved it. And uh... so uh, this is a uh, you know, powerful medicine requires powerful respect. So this is a powerful device. And you have to be careful with it. But audio and visual entrainment have been studied uh, in cognitive neuroscience for a very long time. And uh, there's lots of really cool things you can do. So basically the device is held about yay far from the face. Mm -hmm. uh, you close your eyes, sit back, you relax, you put some headphones on and it flashes. And uh, if people are observing you, it looks like it's just flashing white light, but you, um, you're seeing patterns and geometry and colors and you go on a journey. Um, so uh, there's uh, kind of two different directions uh, that this device is intended for. One is more in the anti-anxiety focus and um, mm. performance enhancement realm. So we, we term that the, the meditative area. Uh, and the other is actually for uh, therapy and for entertainment. So it can knock you, if you use it long enough, right settings uh, into a kind of a pseudo psychedelic state, similar to what a psilocybin trip would be uh, or a DMT trip would be. But the difference between chemicals and this device is actually it has an on and off switch. So after you finish the routine, you come back. And so far, it seems to be pretty instant. Now, that said, it's uh, one of those things where you just have to study it. So, you know, what if you have epilepsy? What if you have neurological problems? What if you have schizophrenia? Yeah. It's This is where we're not exactly sure. So uh, I've sent uh, this research thread up to my clinic in Wyoming, and we're going to spend some time playing around with it. And throughout the coming months, we'll learn more about it. But what is really interesting is that I do believe that it has a profound impact on your brain waves. And so one of the first things we're going to do when we start playing around with this is we're going to take a look at uh, EEG. And we're going to actually see a uh, do an EEG pre and uh, during and post and, and measure it for several people. And then we'll try to get a sense of what's happening with your brain waves. Uh, another thing that we're probably going to do is look at cognitive scoring and things that are intended to enhance. We can do a pre and post with the unit and see what effects it has on uh, people. So very exciting, but uh, but there's a lot of great science. Visual and audio trainment has been around, as I've mentioned, for quite some time. Uh, it's really been a, a secret hidden gem. And the Ruxiva is the first consumer device, pseudo consumer device, because it's at the $5,000 price point uh, that I've seen. Uh, so, you know, it's just an area of interest that we have. And the power of having a clinic is that you have all these physicians and scientists floating around and it makes it actually quite straightforward and easy for uh, us to take these devices and actually test them. Uh, over time, we'll be able to actually test them at a very significant level. Like for example, with a spec scan and look at blood flow through the brain with an MRI and actually take a look at the structures of the brain in addition to EEG. Uh, studies and uh, qualitative quantitative assessments. So it's also supposed to be used to um, like psychedelics to to cure depression, right? And other sort of um, yeah. people with OCD. Is that what it's also intended without actually having to take 
those drugs or mushrooms or yeah you have to be careful with using words like cure but um, not cure but yeah. yeah and so even with transcranial magnetic stimulation which is one of the gold standards of an alternative for ssri therapy which is fda approved um, when primary therapies failed the curative rate is about a third um, so i wouldn't suspect this device would have a high curative rate but um, it could mirror what we've seen with um, ecstasy and uh, the MDMA trials uh, that were actually quite breakthrough and transformative. Um, if you're planning on attending MAPS, which is the big psychedelic conference for research in psychedelics, I will be there. Uh, it's uh, towards the end of June uh, here in Denver, Colorado, and actually Roxiva has a booth. Oh, so we're, we're gonna definitely play around with their uh, latest and greatest technology, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so first question, sign me up. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? How do you spell it? It is Roxiva. And I will actually give you guys a link to the website here if you're interested. 